Welcome to this MaxCut version 2 video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering the import CSV and export to CSV options in MaxCut. A CSV file is a text document that can be opened in an Excel spreadsheet and edited in a manner where we can add our pieces for our cutting list in the spreadsheet. As we can see, I've already created my first piece for the cutting list. The reason I've done this is so that I have the correct fields in the CSV file when adding additional pieces in Excel. With the first piece added, I'm going to click on my pull down menu at the top and click the export to CSV. We are given the option to save this file. I'm going to call it sheet one export and click save and then open up my Excel spreadsheet. Go to my file menu, select open, navigate to the desktop where I've saved that file. I'm going to need to filter, right now it's just looking for Excel documents. Click on my filter menu and select text files. You'll see that the CSV sheet one export becomes available. So now we have the information from our sheet one export file in Excel and we'll see that the we have there that first side that we've added with all the information that's required. Now it's very important that the information that is currently in these cells remains pretty much the same. So I'm going to copy this line and paste a new line there. I'm going to give it a new name. Let's give this base. Let's keep the caps lock on to keep it standard. Give it a size of 568 millimeters. Keep the depth of 5, change the quantity. And we're going to keep the material the same. We need to keep this other information in there in order for the import to work correctly. I'm going to copy this line and paste it. And I'm just going to add a final piece of the back. I'm going to give it a dimension of 478. And I have the of, sorry, that should be 710 millimeters and 478 millimeters quantity as well. But we have a different material type, so we'll just type your masonite. So masonite and we'll call it three millimeters. And this doesn't have any edging, so we'll delete that information. We just need to leave this include edging thickness information in the cell. I'm now going to select file, save as. I already had a sheet one import file. I'm just going to overwrite the one that I have existing on my machine. Yes, I would like to replace that. And I would like to keep it in a CSV format. Close, save. And yes, we will now open up MaxCut and select the import CSV file option. Select sheet one, open. You'll notice there that I've typed in white maze three millimeter, which MaxCut hasn't recognized. So all I need to now do is select a replacement material. I already have white masonite included in my material list. I've obviously just given it a different name. So I just need to start typing in my filter and there we see we have the option of white melamine or white masonite. I select that material, select OK, and update. And now MaxCut recognizes that as my material for optimization. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.